lady hello ladies and gents all of you guys who are new to or uh, still learning in the Cricut world I am here to show you guys how to make a SVG out of a regular PNG image the PNG image that I will be using today is this beautiful lady right here which is actually me I uh, created this picture using a awesome app and I am going to be using her uh, for some of my projects and probably even selling her on Etsy. Her name is Tia by the way, which is my name. But anywho, let's get back to what we are working on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this file. Uh, and this is how the file is going to look once you make it to SVG. I did it prior to make sure that I can show you guys properly. So I'm going to go ahead and insert her into the program. And all this stuff is just basic. You can just go ahead and click OK. What you're going to do is you're going to. I don't. Do I need this? No, I don't. Close it without saving. So this is this is it. This is how it opens up. It opens really small at first. You want to make her bigger and move her to. Can I move her to the right a little bit? So I just want it to be in a good position so once we start you guys can see everything. Alright, so first things first, you guys have probably seen people will go to path and they would trace the bitmap. I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible. You're going to click her because this is what you want to trace and you want to see a live preview of it. So this is how she looks currently. We're going to bring the scans down to two. I don't really need much because it's just black and white. Um, there's not a whole lot of other images. I mean colors or anything to capture and I'm just going to do it by brightness uh, steps because once again it's black and white there's no colors if you were to click colors for this it would make her blurry if you guys can see right here in the live preview and then if you were to click grays it's kind of the same thing so brightness is our best option you just play around with it depending on each image every image is different um, also, you want to not stack the scans. I don't like to stack the scans, but I'm okay with it making it smooth, whatever that is. It hasn't given me a problem, but I find when I stack the scans, it's kind of like weird. I don't know. But um, I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And what it does is it gives you this gray one, which we're going to keep the old one we no longer need. So it's basically like a coloring book now. Whatever you color it, that's how it's going to be um, as a base. Whether you're putting it on Etsy or just using it as a shirt without having to change it in Cricut Design Space. So the first thing is first, I am going to click on the paint thingy and I'm going to go ahead and click on the first thing. I believe the color that is on here right now is black. When I click it, up, oh, nope, it's red. So I'm going to click black and it'll change it black. So right now we are dealing with black hair and a black shirt outline. I'm going to go ahead and click her her eyebrow. Oh, I forget that it's all connected. I just want to move this out of my way a little bit. There we go. I want to zoom in a little bit so that I can see all these little pieces and get it. You see how the nose is great? Now it's black. The outline of the nose. Now it's black and the nose ring. Now it's black. Those are going to be three different pieces with your SVG. The outline of the lip, lips, yeah. That's black now. Her eyes. Oh, I did not click the eyebrow. It's going to give me an issue later. Something's going to be extra. So I'm going to click undo. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So I can get that to be black and this to be black. And now for her lips, I want to click it black because if I were to just change the color, it would change the color of her eyebrow. So I'm going to click it black, but I'm going to change it to maroon. And then you guys can see that you can change the color of the lips as well. Now I believe that I've colored every piece in. The only thing are is those little dots uh, like here. But those are not needed because it will be hard for the cricket to cut, and this is uh, for the cricket. 
what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab this gray part I want to pull it out from under there and everything should look the same we have the eyebrows the three-part eye the three-part nose the three-part lip and we have the hair colored and all we have to do now is delete this gray part and this is your SVG that's pretty much it in five minutes you guys can create your own SVGs from images that are usable for free on what is it called Google you want to make sure that it has commercial use and all those other things and that you can use it um, without getting in trouble for legal rights I use my image because I know if somebody were to use it I know oh my gosh that's my picture so be mindful when you guys are you know just taking things from anywhere because people want to make their money or they want to be successful they want to use things or whatever the case may be just just be mindful everybody's out here trying to succeed so I'm going to go ahead and click save as when you do that it gives you the option to save as um, a SVG right here you know that you successfully created your SVG. If you wanted to do it in different formats, you can. Like a plain SVG. Excuse me. Oh. Sorry, guys. Or anything else. You could go ahead and do that. But I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm going to go ahead and say Tia SVG. And then I'll put YouTube video. Purpose. because I already have one and I want to make sure that I'm showing you guys everything so we're gonna save it now I'm going to show you guys how this works what you want to do is you want to come here to Cricut Design Space and you want to click upload let me hurry up and move so you guys want to see my other images or take it because they're my images please be mindful that we're all trying to be successful here so then I'm gonna go ahead and click browse and um, you will see your SVG here uh, in your files or you can eventually find it if you don't see it immediately but I'm going to go ahead and click it and I'm going to click open it now it doesn't give you the option like the other times when it asks you is it a simple image da, 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 whatever do you need to crop it do you need to erase anything or whatever the case may be SVGs they just come straight through you just get the chance to put the name and that's it that's another way that you can know if you properly made an SVG and then you're going to save it now I, like I told you guys I did one before but this is the one that we just created I want to go ahead and edit it into Cricut Design Space now as you can see these two are the same image the only difference is this this one has red lips because you can interchange how she looks for example if I wanted to change the lips now to very very a different color I can do that but I'm actually going to keep it to this pretty dark red color and then um, I'm going to actually Click everything but the lips. Right now I'm holding shift and I'm collecting all her other body pieces. So yeah, everything but the lips as you can see. And I'm going to go ahead and click weld. And all those things are going to weld together to make one thing because the only thing that I want to have color differently right now is the lips and if I were not to weld it together what will happen is I would add it to Cricut Design Space and it would not be um, together it would be like an eye here an eyebrow there the face would be empty and you will have to literally take every piece by piece and put it inside of her face um, but the way that I did it is I welded it all together and my lips are still interchangeable. So if I wanted to change my lips again, I can change them to brown. I can change them to darker brown or to blue or to whatever you guys want to change the lips to. But as you see, all my images usually have red lips. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. So we're going to click make it so you guys can see the dynamics of how this is made. Um, Cricut Design Space have been tripping lately. I don't know if it's my internet or what, but um, it hasn't been showing my images like you guys can see. I'm clicking 
but there's nothing here. You can't see it. But um, I'll just zoom in in the corner uh, despite crickets troubling me. So as you can see, still did it. Still separated everything because the cricket is tripping. But uh, her lips are here because that's the only thing that's spread, which is a part of making an SVG. What you want to be able to do is to uh, change things differently. And over here, you see the difference between the P and G, which is this first piece, and then the difference between the SVG, which is the the second piece and then all up here is all of her facial pieces but um, actually it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be welded together which I did do but my Cricut for some reason has been giving me trouble the Cricut Design Space um, website like here as you guys know it's supposed to be showing but it's not so I'm gonna go back and as you can see, like I said before, everything is welded together, so it should all be uh, Cricut Design Space has been really killing me lately. And if you refresh your project to try to catch up with the internet or whatnot, it will not save. So let me hide this. Maybe that's a problem. Nope. So you guys, that's pretty much how you make it. Um, that's how you make the SVG. Maybe later on. Oh, sorry, this is the mistakes that happens on videos that nobody ever see. But I'm gonna go ahead and let it stay so that you guys can actually be able to see this video because we did create a successful SVG. Um, I'm just having trouble with the Cricut Design Space website for some apparent legal reason. So. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the the comments below. Um, if you guys would like me to do another one just for clarity, I can do that as well. But I want to get this video out so that you guys can see it and uh, be productive in this journey with the Cricut. So thank you so much and I hope to hear from you guys very, very, very soon. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And to let us know if there's anything that we can do uh anything that you guys need help with and once again don't forget uh if you need clarity you can always access that so thank you so much and we hope to hear from you guys soon bye